towards the bottom of the arm of the microscope, we can see two um, focus adjustment knobs. The outer one is called coarse focus adjustment, and you'll see if I rotate it, there's rel relatively large changes in the elevation of our stage. And then there's an inner knob, the fine focus adjustment knob. And we can see as I rotate this, there's very small changes in the elevation of the stage. Now we have really important rules with, um, with regard to which focus adjustment knobs we use with which objectives. So our rules are we only use coarse focus adjustment with the um, least powerful, the shortest objective lenses. So we use coarse focus only with our 4x scanning lens and our 10x low power lens. Because the more powerful high dry 40x lens and oil immersion lens, since they're so long, we're almost working um, with the lens almost touching our glass microscope slide. So as a consequence, we don't want to um, risk damaging the objective lens or our micro, um, microbial specimen by ramming the stage and slide into the end of those um, objective lenses. So our rules are when we're using the high dry lens and the oil immersion lens, we only use fine focus. Now, our scopes are lovely in that they are described as parfocal. That means once we have our specimen in focus using one objective lens, say for example the scanning lens, as a parfocal scope I should be able to change objectives and the specimen should remain in focus. Now our scopes are not perfectly parfocal. So what we'll be doing is we'll be getting our specimen in focus. We always start out with scanning lens. We'll be using coarse focus and, and we'll just describe how we're going to have um, our microbiology folks um, focus a specimen. So when we place our slide on the stage, we're going to look from the side. We're going to start with our scanning lens in place. And using coarse focus, we're going to raise the stage all the way up. And we're watching from the side to make sure by accident the stage and slide don't ram into the objective lens. It's only at this point that we're going to then look through our oculars our ocular lenses, and then we're going to bring our microbe in a specimen by lowering the stage, lowering the slide. And the reason we do this is for safety's sake. If we focus by lowering the stage, we'll never have an accident of ramming the stage and slide into the objective lens. Okay, so I'd be looking through my oculars. I'm going to bring my microbe into focus using coarse focus adjustment. Then I'll revolve the turret or revolving nose piece or rotating nose piece. That click is important because it's telling me now that my, my low power lens is in alignment with the lens and mirror systems above. And now in theory again, um, the microbe should be in focus, but I might need minor adjustment of focus. So I could use maybe a minor adjustment using coarse focus or minor adjustment using fine focus. Now once the specimen is in focus there, we're gonna rotate, again, looking from the side, we're going to rotate and bring our high dry, our 40x lens into place. Now the question is, which focus adjustment knob can we use with a high dry lens? And you'll recall we can only use the fine focus adjustment, this innermost one. And it should only take half a turn, one, maximum two turns to bring your specimen into focus. If it takes more than two turns of fine focus, to get the specimen into focus using high dryer or, or, or oil immersion lens. Make sure to call one of the instructors over, um, one of our great micro tutors, because it's possible something's wrong with the microscope.